Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to this week's episode of Maconomics. I'm your host, Ross Mack, and I'm here to try to help you get to the bag. We got a new caller calling. Talk to me. What you got? Hey, Ross Mack. My name is Sabrina, and I have a few questions for you. So, I lost a lot of money in my 401k, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on and what should I do. Can you help me, please? Amazing question, Sabrina. I have gotten that question a lot a lot of dms as well as text messages what is going on with my 401k and what should i do so for starters your first question is what's actually going on i think everybody knows that that is the coronavirus pandemic that is literally causing a huge shock to the entire economy not just in america but throughout the entire world and as a result it's causing a lot of businesses to be unprofitable. Not just like, oh, I'm losing a little money. No, you have entire businesses being shut down for weeks or months at a time. And as a result, that's having a huge impact on what your 401k is being invested in, right? You're seeing the stock market being down anywhere from 30 to 40, 50%, depending on exactly what stocks it is. Um, and as a result, that's having a huge adverse effect on everyone's 401k, not just yours. Now to your second question on what you should do. First, I need to know exactly how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, 32. So for starters, that means you have a very long investment horizon, right? Uh, one thing I've talked about in some of my prior economics is understanding exactly how long your investment horizon is. Being 32 years old, you have about another 30 years before you truly are going to retire. Um, and one of the things that I stress is that over the span of 30 years, um, the market is going to be volatile, might go up, might go down a lot. But nonetheless, over the course of 30 years on average, the stock market is always going up, right? And that's probably giving you anywhere about 10% or so in return. So for starters, I want you to understand that being a person right now, your 401k is down a lot. Understand that if you're investing over the next 30 years, know one thing for sure, two things for certain, stock market is going to go back up, right? It's just very volatile right now. Now, my next question is, what exactly do you own in your 401k? Um, 100% small cap stocks. Okay, um, that's extremely aggressive. Um, you know, to my other listeners, uh, one thing you need to understand is uh, when it comes to portfolio diversification or asset allocation, uh, one thing you want to do is be weary and understand exactly how old you are and when you plan on retiring. Uh, there's a rule of thumb called the 100 rule, which says that you can take 100 and subtract it by your age, and that's going to tell you exactly how much you should have allocated towards stocks, right? So you're 32 years old, so on average, you should have about 68% of your portfolio in stocks, and the remaining, uh, that being 32% of your portfolio, should be in bonds. Um, so to you, um, you know, one thing that I would say is it's, it's very important to have diversification because one thing's for sure, um, in times of stress, uh, small cap stocks are going to trade off the most. Those are, you know, from a risk uh, risk spectrum, those are deemed uh, the, the least safe assets, right? Um, when it comes to companies, you have your bonds that are going to be safer and then your stocks that are going to be the most risky. Um, so one thing that you could do is probably try, um, you know, doing a little asset allocation and now reallocating and having some bonds, right? So to give you an example, my mom, who's, you know, approaching retirement age, one thing that I know is saying, hey, over the next 30 years, she doesn't necessarily have the next 30 years to think about uh, her, her portfolio rebounding, right? Instead, she's already nearing retirement age. So one thing that I did, I reallocated more of her portfolio to bonds. Those are the safer assets, right? You have uh, the, the typical um, mutual funds that most people are able to choose from from 401k are gonna be a variation of stocks. Those are gonna be some kind of growth and value um, stocks, maybe even international stocks. Um, and then you're gonna have some bonds. You got, you know, kind of, you know, total return funds, you know, investment grade bonds, and then you got your treasuries. Then you have kind of cash equivalents, which are money market funds. So for me, when it came to my mom, I rotated the majority of her money into government bonds or, you know, some type of money, money market cash equivalent. Reason being, I didn't want her to stomach any of the losses Granted, you know, the market is down over 30 percent, so I saved her a lot of money. Uh, when the time is right, I'm going to now reallocate into some more, um, you know, riskier uh, assets that I believe are going to uh, trade up when the market re uh, recalibrates and goes back up. In conclusion, one thing to think about if you're 32 years old and your 401k is down, understand that over the course of the next 30 years, it's going to rebound. However, um, I think your portfolio would not have been down as much if you would have been more diversified more diversified uh, in the first place. I hope that helps. 
Next caller. Talk to me. What you got? Quick disclaimer. This your boy Ross Mack. I'm just trying to elevate and educate. Damn, so I ain't trying to play A. So if you lose somebody fucking around with me, it ain't my fault. Yo, yo, it's your boy Ross Smack, man, and thanks for tuning in to Maconomics. But I'm going to need you to stop what you're doing and go download that Maconomics 101 right now. New project out. Really going to help you get to that bag. Whoa!